<laughs> they didn't flinch from us, I think they're both dead. It's, it's good. Cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah. You want? You want? Uh, well, no, you're all right. He want me cowboy hat. Everyone want my hat. hat. Anyway, good day. And welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is Prosperity Street. <laughs> That's got really noisy. Here at Qatar. Here is the junction at Qatar. Right here. So here's where I am. <laughs> at Qatar Road, right here. Qatar Noi. That way. And this vlog is a, really about how cheap. So you can see this road is closed for construction. And on this road, there's just about every opportunity <laughs> <laughs> that could come your way whether you're looking to live here rent here or just come here for a vacation or in fact invest here there is something for just about everybody's budget and the first place for rent is just here look right away there's a massive <laughs> parlor there where you can probably get your toe sucked there's a place for rent but the access has been blocked so we won't be going there. <laughs> we'll be going along here. And as you can see, this block of condos, not, not being rented currently at the moment. And I'll go down these steps so you can see right away. And you, these condos come with shop fronts. There's four of them. And if you get yeah, if you're interested, get on the pause button because rent sale commercial units. That's the number you can ring. So there's masses of masses of opportunity in Phuket right now. For whatever it is you're coming here or want to come here. And I personally am looking to rent a property on a monthly basis. And as I <laughs> usually use this road as a cut through to get to Richie and Mary Bell's coffee garden, I've, I've been seeing, this is the new pavement that's being implemented with curbsiders. And here we go, mate, another one. It says no trespassing, there's not a number on there. But look, the Qatar Minter. Oh man, it's begging for someone to refurbish and rent that place. And they're all little shops. There's a little bar there, you can rent motor scooter. Hello, good day. And there's probably a massage as well. <laughs> little restaurants. There's a resort over here. There's more bikes for rent. You can get, hello, a haircut and a massage in there. All kinds of bikes for rent. Um, okay, <laughs> just making sure my bike is still there. As we can see, the little diggers on the road. And they are, they've been putting all these roadworks in on both sides for the pavement here. And as you can see, just about up here. Oh man, all the drains are going in for the drainage system. Really good. Really good. And there's another little place. There's two apartments right there. If you can see that tight number, then it's contactable. Well, I'm not looking for a business. I'm not looking for an apartment block. Oh, you hear that little Vespa? Oh, the sand is awesome. And also here as well, this looks... <laughs> I think it's operational, but it looks run down. Quaint little business when you look, when you look at this road. Hello, Hello. good day. Good day, being up, up, up rated. Yeah, you're all right, mate. You're all right. 
you know, wicked little shop, look. You get your flip flops. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get the horse and I'll continue up here. Uh, so it's just a lovely little windy road where I'll find some more properties that you can look at. Okay, just off the street here, I have found just accommodation for 12,000 baht a month. It's just here, there's a little car park area. There's the road, just there. And the young lady is just gonna show me around. Just so I can see what a basic room is like here. It smells good, and was, yeah, clean bed. Somewhere to sit. Have Wi-Fi? Mm -hmm. Have Wi-Fi, okay. Small fridge, TV. Hang your clothing and a pretty nice shower unit. I mean, to be honest, that is all you need. It's really basic, but it's clean, it's tidy, and it's 12,000 baht for a month. Thank you, thank you, cup and cap. So it's really nice of the lady just to show me that property. I just and there is a restaurant and bar out the front, as I will show you. Cup and cap, thank you very much. That was really nice. 12,000 baht a month. You could probably negotiate a little bit. Get that down to 10, I would have thought. And you got your free Wi-Fi and your electric. Here's a little bar, snooker table. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, thanks very much. And yeah, well, like I say, it's right on the street and I wasn't very far up there a minute ago. There's another place here, look. New business, I'd say. It's not fitted that you could have glass, you could turn that into a one bedroom apartment for yourself. It is for rent. So you could perhaps do what you like with it. Yeah, it's good bedroom floor space and you could sit out here. And there is, I just got there. The, like I say, this street is Opportunity Knox. Prosperity Street because of the amount of these buildings. <laughs> and these signs that I've seen. Oh man, there's even more condos in here. And a reception and probably a swimming pool. So you could probably get a deal here. But this is to rent. Look, and there's a number. Room for rent. <laughs> uh, everywhere along here. And you've got that block there with a the little mosque on the top. It's probably, excuse me, up for rent at the moment. Cap. Okay, another little bungalow. This is a little bungalow terrace, look. Again, just off the main road. I'll show you where I am. I just pointed to the room, and you've got all these little bungalows. This little precinct, you can park your bike under there, all under cover, and all these little bungalows like that. It reminds me of like sheltered housing uh, in the UK. Now, the daily rent is 800 baht, and I'm just waiting for this young lady to get me a price on how much it is on a monthly rental but oh man it's a clean smell it's a much better bed than the last place that's looking pretty good like i say this is 800 baht a night um just on a nightly basis you've got your wi-fi satellite tv a fridge and a freezer it's very clean doesn't look like it's been used so you can put your computer here little telly little workstation or in fact there it smells really fresh, which is nice, which is good. I mean, so keep the place clean. Right, like, and that is your bathroom, shower room. A little bit dark, but it is what it is. So I'm just waiting <laughs> on how much this is a month. Uh, how much? This, uh, this how, uh, this, yeah. Yeah. Oh, six, six fifty times thirty. Okay, that's quite a lot. Yes. Okay, boss discount eight hundred a night. But if you have it for a month, there's six fifty a night for thirty nights. So that's that's quite dear. Cup on cap. Hi. Thank you very much. Um, thirty times six fifty. Eight. So it's getting on about twenty k, isn't it? Or so. Um, no, it's a little bit dearer. I'd, I'd, see, I'd be looking at one of these, something like that, for about 10. That's, that's what I'd want, a little bungalow like that for about 10 grand a month. And, and I'm sure you'll probably find it uh, on the street. So I'll get back on the horse. Hang on. Uh, lucky enough, there's no police. 
<laughs> he says on this street there isn't there's hardly any old bill about it which is really good i've never ever uh, seen a police roadblock or any police on this street at all cap on cap thank you and you can see where this little resort is and there is a phone number it's two of them right there is qatar viewpoint resort oh man i'm right obviously you got a little cocktail bar right there i say this is a cool little street and I bet, I bet we ain't even found the best yet. And I'm staying here at the moment because the sun's come out. I have got to go back to Patong. I'm going, I have to go back that way anyway. So when I get to Patong, I've got a little film I will probably start making, but while the sun is shining here, I am gonna finish this vlog. Here you've got motorbike rental, petrol, and also repairs which is um crucial having a motorbike repair shop which is really good it's the qatar that's the qatar view guest house that's um that's where i just lived they would have different rooms at different rates aha so what is blue pine can we get in? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh man. See what the blue pine is all about. I don't know if it, yeah, it must be down there, right at the end. This looks like a restaurant area. Blue pine would be there in the reception area. Hmm. And probably, wow. You'd have to see an agent about getting a monthly rent in, in here. So what else is there? Just here where I've stopped. Highway Curry. A couple of good looking restaurants right opposite on this street. Oh, fresh fruit. I like that. And a laundrette. So, this Casa Room for Rent, Marie. Oh man, buy rent, Phuket. Oh, the hotel is closed. Uh, open November, the hotel. Okay. So, more. Oh, more places. It's actually for sale. On that number there. Again, if it's a business you like the look of, you know the street, you're interested. So many opportunities on this street. And there is, there's still little rural type businesses. Just here and there, cold beers, continental breakfast, coffee shack, sweaty cap, hello, nice young lady, she's really cool. <laughs> There's an another apartment block here that's not being used. Again, the shop front or reception, right at the front. Aha. And the street does go on and on there's more apartments here which are being opened i spoke to a girl there yesterday a french lady and i think she's going to open the apartments in november uh, but she didn't have any oh, oh, <laughs> didn't have any keys as mr moped nearly pulled out in front of a truck oh, which happens a lot ah, hang on. Okay, right, I'll pick the scooter up and then I'll get down there a little way. Oh, I found infinity pool. I'll show you this from the front. <laughs> like a wicked pool. I'll right, see if you can see the fish tanks at the front there. I'm still on the same street. And here is where I am at the moment. I outside showers. This is another little guest house. Sun lounges and it is, it's gonna rain pretty soon. And it goes up through different tiers that all have their own pools i am um, guy and the young lady here has let me just come in and have a little look but the owner or the boss who can tell me what a monthly rental price is 
isn't actually here but we're going to have a look at one of the rooms which is just here i put the lights on off um, oh it's okay no he let ah you need uh you need key so if you can see in here the big on suite wow i know it's dark the shower but i just want to show mate this is a prodigious that has, has got its fridge and a kettle oh man and it's prestigious looking room with that massive great leather so uh, a sweet bed oh man how oh, cool and a single one i like that little single and that's got a wicked tv oh man nice room really nice room and a nice view out there and they do do a monthly rental and the view back on the street <laughs> The ladies' laundry. Okay. Okay, mate, I like this room. It's nice. It feels nice. It really does. And there are other rooms of different quality in here. But that was really cool. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Kaboom cat. How cool of that to let me have a little look. As there is something for everybody <laughs> on this little street. And I say, look, you've got a lovely little bar and a little restaurant area there. Really nice. Uh, yeah. uh, and you have a gym? Ah, yeah. oh, cool, buddy. So you've got a gym as well. Oh, cool. Oh, downstairs. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, man, you've got a punch bag. <laughs> oh, we like now. It's a proper little gym. all right <laughs> run a machine wait i mean you can do all your workout in here and probably have the place to yourself oh, that's really cool couple oh there's pad gloves there look if you want them that's really good really good oh cool little bonus bit that is a cool <laughs> little place I say a little bathroom, so really nice and clean. Mm hmm. The Qatar Hillside Hotel. And they rent bikes, bash hats, reception. It's another cool fish tank. <laughs> Not as cool as the one out the front. That was cool. I have, um, have card with telephone number uh, no Facebook okay Facebook thank you Facebook there you go <laughs> so you've got the name of the hotel you've got the Facebook and now look can you see the fish tanks up there massive great fish tank right above the cat the hillside hotel and they will pick you up in there in the in the vehicle and they rent bikes and you can see, look at that, that is. You can see the fish tank right up the top where the pool is. That's really cool looking. Cata Hillside Hotel. If, uh, yeah, you, you go on the Facebook, contact them, see what a monthly is. Probably be about 20k, I reckon, for the month. And then right next door, units right there for rent. The phone number and this street oh man it's a cool place here look at these bicycles oh man they're really cool <laughs> i have seen this place but i've never seen it open they're really cool bikes wow people would have been on massive expeditions in them back in the day i'm not seeing this place open yet but your thai food start from 60 baht and here, look, it's a sign for all your information there. The villa, room for rent, daily, weekly, monthly. You can see that. And the villa, two of them right here. You rent this one. Or you could rent that one. Daily, 
weekly or monthly. And the contact details are there. Awesome. And there's a house right opposite. But I'll say this, this street is littered. Here, look, house for rent, right here. And that number is there if you want to rent a house. And, <laughs> ah, that's probably why I've never seen the old Phuket restaurant and coffee open because the house and the business is up for sale. Wow, now that is, look at that, you've got two rooms at the top there. Restaurant, coffee shop, marijuana, dispensary or whatever. And the numbers, if you can make them out, are on that signpost up there. Wow, it really is a street of opportunities. And another motorbike garage just here. Right, last little bit. Okay, before I leave this little bit, there is a phone number on the windscreen of the motorbike for the Qatar hillside hotel. So you know what, I might even give them a little call later and see what the best deal I can get. Just down this little side street where I've seen a signpost for the great big hotel there and there is someone there I can find out how much monthly rents are in this place but as I've just come down I didn't actually know this street was here but look at this full sale pool villa 399,000 but <laughs> you've got all the information there six bedroom seven bathrooms wow 12.5 meter swimming pool. That's all your information is there. Man. And that, I believe, is the spot. Wicked villa to have. I wonder what the monthly rent would be on that place. But the amount of potential, and I'll tell you, there's another one just here, it's not open. I just had a little walk down here. These places are all neglected. That one's been lived in. That looks like it's for sale with its own pool. It's a private thing on there, but these look like people are living here. But this one, this little all wooden Chinese looking thing, is for sale or rent. And I reckon that. Oh man, that. Ah, Swaddy Cap. Is your, is this your building? Uh, how much for monthly rent? For one month, how much? One month and five thousand baht. Five thousand baht yeah. for one month. One month. And you have internet here, Wi-Fi. Uh, I have. You have Nidnoy. Okay, one month. You hear that, this guy? That's that, how lucky for that apartment. One month for five thousand baht. And if you wanted to sell this unit, you. Sell. Oh, sell! You want to sell the whole unit? Yeah. Okay, well if you're interested guys, I mean that, at 5,000 baht a month, and it is just a nice wooden unit, and the guy's number is on that ticket. Cap and cap. Have a good day buddy. Oh cool man, I'm really happy, the owner just happened to be there. So you could rent that apartment for 5,000 baht a month. It's 125 quid for a month's rent. But the guy is looking to sell the whole unit where there, I think there was four to six of those. Right, so this is the Qatar Place Boutique Hotel. Hello? Room. Um, do you rent room for one month? Monthly? Yeah, how much for one month? <laughs> Let's even have a little look. Speculating tour this is. I haven't rung anybody or arranged anything. I've just been up and down the street and I say I'll speculate and put myself about. <laughs> I asked a question. Hello, darling. You all right? Huh? Is open for rent? 
Huh? Open Nick. Uh, I'll follow her. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. I've got to follow that other lady. Ah, we're just going over there to the posh. Can it open? Open. But ha how much for know. one month? I don't know. I ring phone number. I ring. Look, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, so I don't know. I thought these, this big office block here, I think it's closed. I thought they'd be really a little bit run down and really cheap. But here's the phone number there, look. Up on here. And this is all looking brand new. <laughs> I can hear someone tapping away. Oh, lovely mosaic. Oh, I like the mosaic. Room number one. Oh, they're locked. They're all locked. It all looks very clean. <laughs> so no, no one's coming with a key. So I will now go back on the high street and I'll show you the last little bit. Like I say, there's so much on this street, I can't take it all in. I'm just picking just little bits, a little bit different, a little bit big, a little bit small. Cup on cap. Um, oh man. And there, if you look, it's a wicked view, a big Buddha, look. The big white Buddha right at the top of that hill. It's always a good thing to see. Okay, right at the end of the road, literally, you can see with the VIP bus, 200 meters, that is the main road. Turn left to go to Karen Beach and Patong. Turn right to go to Rahway. But this is what I've stopped here for. Sale or rent. Eight apartments. Three stories and three shop fronts. There, and a ticket, air ticket office. Oh man. So I came right to the end of the road where I probably, well, I don't know, it's done now. So you've got that space there, right? You have got this space here, which needs a bloody good scrub down and a clean, but it's also for sale. <laughs> Body cab. Oh, right there. And there is this information, I don't know exactly what it is, but again, it looked like shop fronts, condominiums or apartments on the call centre. It's crazy the amount of stuff for sale on this one little windy back street. And there is much more. There is. You can actually, right next door, I haven't gone in, So now I go back, because it's just two more little places that I now go back that I want to take in. But here you have the Nonny N-O-N-N-E-E, -E, 400 baht a night for a room with a shared swimming pool. Very, very cheap accommodation. Oh man, right. Places I want to take you to, literally. Just here. Let's see, we're going this way. Uh, and there's laundry services to get your laundry done. There's two more apartments there for rent and there is a house for sale at the back of those apartments. You have the fire services. It's just here. So if you need to put a fire out, they're right on your doorstep. But it's just this little place just there that I want to have a look at. I don't know what is for rent. Swaddy cab. Hello. Right here. House for rent. You don't have. Ah, oh, I've been looking at that sign for the last month. Thinking, oh, I'm going to rent this house. I, I see this sign and I think, oh yes, I'm, I'm going to rent this house. Uh, have you from yesterday? Check in. Check in yesterday. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I have been looking at that, thinking about it, thinking about it. And then when I come the day before yesterday, yesterday, yesterday check in. Check in. There you go. From Denmark, 
From Denmark? Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Where if you from? Uh, England. England. England, yes. Oh, I should have come earlier. My, my fault. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. If you see somewhere in Thailand yeah, yeah. and you've got your eye on it. Maybe, maybe future then. Eh? Yes, yeah, snap it up. Yes. Yes, very good. Oh, well that's disappointing. That was the last one I was going to show you. And um, that was the one, the house at the back, that I kind of had my eye on. Beaten to the punch because I've been, like always, very slow in my decision making. Oh man. <laughs> oh, well there you go. Saved the best for last, it didn't happen. So, this is, this street, the land of opportunities. <sighs> there might be something you might be interested in so and there is a lot more uh, on this actual street as well so that is today's vlog prospecting uh, I have I've been out prospecting for my future so appreciate oh hang on we ain't done yet have we got to end the vlog we can't end it here can we no yes happy ending number one cheers Oh man, if you can't find anywhere to rent a business or accommodation on that street in Qatar, I, I don't know what to advise you on. That street has got so much potential, something for whatever your budget is. And even for me, that, that may be where I'm going to end up living in Phuket in the future. So thanks for watching today's vlog. As always, sticking to the end. Cheers. Oh, so good. That really is good. And the rain, it's been wet, look. It's dried out. And I think after I finish this happy ending, I'll be able to go. <laughs> um, and perhaps have a little siesta. So until next time, thanks for watching and au revoir.